Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Brian here with a pickup video plus mail and yeah, just you know, Walmart, Best Buy, and then um, uh, Vinegar Syndrome. Not a lot to show off today, I haven't really picked up a lot in the last two weeks, but, but we'll just dive right on in here. So the first one here is actually from Amazon. It's, uh, <coughs> it looks weird, it's probably bad. But it's a wild eye releasing and it is uh, called We Found Something. Look at that. Okay, it's creepy. <clears throat> this is from 2022, 85 minutes, not rated. It says some things don't want to be discovered. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> While Ted and Maxi are on a rock climbing trip to help conquer Ted's fear of heights, they stumble upon an unknown creature in the woods. One who does not want to be found. The couple are soon in a frenzy to save their lives as they become hunted by this ancient beast. So the cover looks really cool, but if you see the look on the back, it just looks like some guy in a, you know, like a costume. So it's probably not good, but it was like seven dollars on Amazon, so I went ahead and picked it up. <coughs> and I got this at Walmart. <coughs> I've seen a few people get it. Uh, this is the new entry in the Bring It On series, uh, Bring It On, Cheer or Die. Um, looks very campy, it's, uh, it's a sci-fi film and a universal release. Um, and of course, uh, I know some people already pointed this out. Uh, if you want to read the synopsis, definitely read the back of the DVD. Don't read this because it's, you can see right there, like the words there are just cut off. So you don't, you have to figure out what, what they mean reading it, so I'll just read the back of the DVD. So that looks interesting. Um, yeah, I picked it up. I know I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this one, but you know, I am a Rob Zombie fan. More music than movies, but I do... I, I guess I can say I can appreciate his, his movie making. So I guess I picked up The Monsters. I know. I heard it's really bad. I heard it's good. I heard it's decent so I will check this out I have everything else that he's ever done so fair to add to the, to the Rob Zombie collection here <clears throat> uh, you probably saw my Instagram post on this one but you know I love this movie so I had upgraded the 4k I like the artwork on the 4k slipcover too so it is I know what you did last summer yes it is a different artwork on the actual uh, cover art itself the original art. Uh, as far as I remember, there is no reversible artwork, so that was pretty cool. Uh, the 4K has uh, special features on it, different from the Blu-ray, so that's pretty cool too. There's an interview with the director, an interview with Muse Watson, the the guy that played the the fisherman. So there's the back. Uh, the next three are all upgrades. Uh, Best Buy is having a 4K sale for I think $13.99 a piece, so I had to pick these up. They all came with slipcovers too, which is very strange at this time. They've been out for a while, so you think they wouldn't have them, but they did. So I picked up uh, Beetlejuice. I have the Blu-ray steelbook of this, so this is an upgrade. Uh, <clears throat> I got the... <clears throat> I think it's the 25th or the 30th anniversary Blu-ray box set of the of this. So this is a it's still a definite upgrade though. This is the Goonies on Blu-ray with the slipcover. <clears throat> I have two copies of this movie already on Blu-ray, the regular Blu-ray and then the uh, Diamond Edition like ma uh, magnet packaging. So I picked up Goonies, or Gremlins, sorry, Gremlins. <clears throat> I like the artwork, Gizmo with the hands on him. Of course he's so cute in his little car. Uh, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and do, I'll put those on top. So I got this from Vinegar Syndrome. They were having a Saturn's Core sale. I only picked up one title. Um, so, picked up Burglar from Hell. Yeah, it's uh, embossed here, and also the spine is embossed. And 
there's the just a random back with some I guess some blood spatter <coughs> and then the uh, actual artwork itself uh, this looked interesting it's probably not very good but you know I actually like shot on video stuff so definitely want to check this out <coughs> and then the last two of course people have already seen on my Instagram so I had to go to two different locations for these because you know they sell out quick and some stores tell you they have it online, but they really don't. So they have to, you know, give you your money back. Or you can find another store that has it. So I had to, so <clears throat> my local one had the Poltergeist Steelbook. So I'm glad to finally pick that up. It's an upgrade from the Blu-ray that I have. And then this one I had to travel uh, over state lines to get. So I had the Lost Boys. I like this artwork more than just the them hanging from the bridge, so picked that up. I wish they would have done better artwork, but it is what it is. So that's everything for this video, guys. I'm actually about to head out to Monster Mania for the weekend, so there will be a video, maybe multiple videos, of my brother and I shopping and walking around and whatnot. So this is all I have to show off today. Let me know if you guys picked any of these up and what you thought of them, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.